These are the sewers of Stonekeep. It is said that the dwellers above use these caverns as a water source. Hmm. What else? My people built a drain and dam system to maintain the water level. That knowledge might come in useful. Watch your step. I hate the sewers. They are big. They are hard to navigate because of the water. And there's Wahooka. Greetings again, mortal. What do you want this time, Wahooka? Once again, I grant thee the key to your future in return for a small favor. Bring me the heads of three men long dead. Do it yourself, Gabo. Bah, not in this miserable wet corner of hell. So Wahooka wants me to bring in three skulls. Well, there are actually a couple of skulls hidden in the water uh, in these sewers. But I've been picking up so many of them upstairs that I don't really need to bother. So, yeah, like I was saying, I hate the sewers. The way the walls are textured makes it really hard to see if there's any passages leading off to the side. Plus, anything that's lying on the ground you can actually see. Unless you move your mouse along the ground and see the hand cruiser. I'm gonna take it out on this jittery Sharga here. Jump out of the way of my arrows, will ya? Oh, Farley's not doing well. And this sword is absolute crap against the Shargas. I don't know why I'm using it. Like I said, they're very well armored against cutting damage, and swords do cutting damage. This was not a good idea. Oh, come on! Piercing damage is a lot more useful against Shargas, so I'm just gonna grab one of my old daggers again. This is a good example of just how strong the shark is on this level are. Huh, that's good. Now I have to fish in the water to pick out those few roots that this shark had dropped. Not fun. Not to mention all the arrows and darts that I threw onto the ground. Rest assured that in time I will be able to drain the sewers. So that I'll be able to see everything that's lying on the ground. Whoopsie! And this one Sharga is really clinging to me. Plus he's standing on my side of the screen, which means that Farley can't do shit. Oh, these guys are tough. Every time you hear that sound, that sounds sort of like someone hitting a pan. That's one of the Sharga's sword strokes, actually striking Farley's shield. Oh, I gained another point of strength. It would actually be nice if I gained a few more points of agility, because... It's nice to balance out your strength and agility so your health rises faster. Come on, little guy, die! Oh, Farley bought it! And, oh, I better get him out of the water quick, because he's not going to last long this way. As you can see, just one root is enough to put him back on his feet. Not that it'll last long this way, but... I don't really want to waste too many healing items on him right now. I'm going to need plenty of them myself. Hear that whistling wind? Let's see if the Orb of Afri can show us where it's coming from. Yep, there's a hidden room to the right of us. Nice. Hmm. Can't really see if there's anything in there. Just a couple of roots lying on the ground. Swell. Alright, let's get back to the corridor. This area of the sewers is filled with very long corridors and shargas. There is another half of the sewers which is filled with quite different things, but we'll get around to that in time. Yeah, it's arrows for these guys again, because as, as I've shown, they take quite a long time to die from melee weapons. That's much better. 
Oh, it's very frustrating to have to look this way. I'm mainly concerned with picking up my arrows. Any other crap I'll be able to pick up later. Mm, dead end here. Ooh, that looks big. It is big! Master's toad glass that you be here! Die, Stunty! For the record, Stunty is referring to Farley, not me. Grass is quite a big fellow and quite a strong fellow, but like all Shargas, he's pretty vulnerable to arrows. Ah, another point of agility. That's very welcome. Me getting an extra point of agility is mainly because I've started using some lighter weaponry. Every weapon in Stonekeep has a weight, and as long as this weight factor does not outweigh your strength factor, using it will eventually raise your agility stat. Using heavy weapons will eventually raise your strength stat. for sliding it to the right but I don't see the controls here how can you tell that looks like a normal wall to me keen dwarven senses my friend keen dwarven senses there is a place like this in both arms of the sewer and it connects the two parts together but in order to open them I'll need to find something else down here well I'm Nearly at the end of the sewers, at least. Let's take care of another of these annoyingly jumpy Shargas. Ooh, that sounds like that one dropped quite a few things in the water. And that one too. Mostly it's just roots. Over there, and something over there, nothing in there. Well, at least I've now killed all the sharks in this area. Oh, what have we here? It's a metal cylinder. Well, let's bring it along. Find out later if it has any purpose. I'm done in this area of the sewers. Can't do anything else right now. So let's just roll back and meet Wahooka along the way. Then we'll go back upstairs and have a look at what's behind that illusionary wall that Farley found. Alright, let's give him the skulls. Yeah, I got plenty of those. Ah, finally. Here you go. And he gives us a triangular key, as the journal describes this. Well, we'll have to see if we find any locks that this key fits. For now, ah, let's get back on dry land. Alright, let's see what's behind that wall. Hmm. Completely new area. And the slime crawls closer. Let's hit it before it gets too close. It's a wimpy slime. Slimes have some pretty interesting behaviors. Other than the fact that they will sometimes try to run away after you hit them, sometimes they'll also split in two, especially if you attack them with a fire attack. Oh, this one dropped a gem. They will also sometimes absorb items lying on the ground and only relinquish them after you kill them. Well, I don't need these leather pants anymore. Nothing else of interest in here. Moving on. Yep, 
There's two places where you can meet Wahooka in this level, and this is the second one. Well, well, do you have something for me? All right, let's give the greedy goblin something precious. Maybe he'd like this orb. No, I cannot take that. Oh, he does not? Well, maybe he'd like this shiny key. Bah, what do I want with that? He does not. Well, let's just give him these dusty old gems then. Watch out for traps. The shamans of the Throgs set many of them around here, hoping to stick a couple of dwarves. That's really just a warning, not very helpful advice. More. You must give me more. And every clue costs one more gem than the last one. Search the sewers below for the key to the Underlands. Well, that is actually useful advice. Mm, this time I'll want three gems. More. You must give me more. Yeah, 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 keep your pants on. More. You must give me more. You greedy little asshole. Fine. To succeed in your quest, you must find all of the orbs. And that's also some useful advice. Bah! Return when you have something to give me! I will not, because he has given me all the advice he can. If I give him any more gems, he will just keep saying, More, you must give me more, and not give me any more advice. This door leads back to the first level, so let's turn around. As Wahooka said, to succeed in the quest we must find all of the orbs. We already have one, and there's a total of nine to be collected. Another door yields to the ivory key, and there's more slime behind it. Not very tough slime though. Oh, and he was holding two bottles. That's pretty good. Smashing this furniture, I find a scroll. Interesting. This actually is pretty interesting because it refers to drain switch cylinders, and I did find a cylinder in the sewers. Apparently, they're part of the mechanism that can drain the sewers. Now I just need to find a place where I can use them. Hey, a switch in the wall. What happens when we press it? The wall opens behind us and releases a slime. Oh dear, that didn't go as planned. And more slime comes from around the corner. Seems like I'm very popular today with the slimes. Oh, as you can see, arrows are so much better to use against them than uh, melee weapons. You little coward, come back here. Come back and fight like a slime. Oh! As you can see, I did not throw an oil bottle, but Farley did. Dwarves have the rather random behavior of sometimes doing that. It's unfortunate you can't make them do it. At the end of this long corridor that I unlocked, I find a chest with some more potions in it. As is the tradition. I'm not complaining, I can use them. Hmm, do I go left or do I go right? Guess I'll go left. Oh, company! Tough little Sharga here. Who likes to throw rocks in my face? This guy is actually very tough. He doesn't look like much, but he can take a lot of punishment. And dish out quite a lot too. Jerk. Let's grab all his rocks. 
Wow, I'm not doing too well. Sorry, Farley, none for you right now. I need to conserve my uh, healing items. Hmm, another fork in the road. But a lock in the wall. I get a chance to use my ivory key. Whoops, didn't mean to throw that. I'm not actually going to proceed down that little corridor I just opened to the right. Because at the end of it, there's yet another lock, and I don't have the key for that. Mage's study. Do not enter. But that does sound very promising, though. Mage's study. Make a mental note to come back there later. Yet more Shargids hiding around the corner. Sneaky. Come on, guys. Oh, these are some big Shargids. And that asshole to the right just ate one of his uh, healing items. Could've used that. Sharkers are so selfish. One of them dropped an oil bottle. Huh. Don't see that happening a lot. I feel kinda bad for Farley having to stand there while Drake eats up all his roots. And this chest here is empty. It's just supposed to lure you into an ambush with the Sharkers. Another illusionary wall, but one which I've already seen the other end of. So, no point in going through it, really. But it will make for a nice shortcut later. Right, well, not gonna go down this path just yet, so let's track back a little. And proceed down the other way. Whoops. Sharga, who's gonna hit us from a tile away. And Farley buys it again. Great. Uh, have a snack, Farley. Back on your feet. Seems like with these Sharkas, it's the little guys that hit the hardest. Oh well. Oh, it's a very conspicuous pit, but there is a button on the other side, which you can pretty much only hit with darts. They're the only weapon that you can throw high enough in order to hit the button. Of course, for this LP, it might be actually nice to show what happens when you fall down the pit. 